Oh my gosh, inject this into my veins right now. Say hi, polar bear. Okay, now you don't wanna get the camera. You wanna act bougie? You wanna act bougie? Oh my goodness. Hello everybody. Welcome to All About M with a side of All About Abel. It has been a very, very lazy day here at our house. Vaughn is streaming right now and, <coughs> oh bless you. And me and Abel are cuddling on the couch. It is a rainy, rainy day. I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear the rain? It's a very rainy day. And last night, Vaughn and I walked to the mailbox like while it was raining. We walked, it was like, it was like, what? Like three in the morning. We walked to the mailbox because I got this new book delivered. And when I tell you, like I have spent the entire day, like I, so we went and got the book at the mailbox and we went upstairs to go to bed. And I was like, I can't start this now. So I just kind of like read through like the introduction and like stuff like that and, and looked at some of the parts of the book. I was like, I can't get started now because I won't go to sleep. So I go to sleep and I wake up and I look over and I'm like, oh my God, my book. When I tell you, me and Abel laid there for like four hours just like devouring this book. So it's a little late to be actually starting the day, but we were too busy, well, I was too busy reading my new book. So it looks a little crazy that I'm like just now kind of starting my day, but I've literally just been in bed reading for like four or five hours, probably five hours at this point. Well, four hours and then I came down here and was like kind of getting the kitchen together and hanging out with Abel and then realizing my um, TV remote doesn't work down here. So for whatever reason, I'm like now having to use like my phone as my remote, whatever. I mean, it's a rainy day, like it's a lazy rainy day today and I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys and kind of do like a little rainy day routine, I guess. I mean, rainy days, I feel like I'm permanently glued to the couch or the bed. Like, I just love rainy days. It's my favorite kind of day. I love to just like relax and listen to the rain. And it's been raining pretty much nonstop for at least 24 hours at this point. 24 hours, almost 48 hours, honestly, because yesterday was a really rainy day too. So, um, I've just been hanging out and I want to show you guys some of the things I got. I want to do like a little, you know, rainy day vlog, whatever. Let me show you the book I'm reading. Okay, so this is the book. It's called I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. And I just finished watching the series on HBO. I did like a free trial on HBO. And the the series is called I'll Be Gone in the Dark as well. And when I, like this is such a good book. It's such a good book. I highly, highly recommend. If you're into true crime, read this book. You're not gonna regret it. Also, if you're into true crime, watch that documentary series because it is so freaking good. Honestly, when I started watching it, I had like chills, chills because it is so crazy, it's so crazy, like it's so creepy. And I was watching it like right here on the couch with Abel and I kept feeling like somebody was watching like in the, in the window, I was so paranoid because it's like, it's unnerving, it's unnerving. If you don't know anything about the story, basically like this man, he was um, Michelle McNamara who wrote the book. Um, she dubbed him the Golden State Killer and really brought like recognition to the case because it really wasn't talked about. It wasn't like a big case that was um, being talked about. They lived in these different parts of the state and did different crimes, but it all like fit into his like, 
his like motives or whatever. I don't know, it's, it's, it's crazy. It is, look into the case if you're interested in things like that. I don't want, it's a trigger warning. I don't want to get too much into it in this video, but it's such a good book and such a good series. And um, sadly, the author of the book, she died before um, he was captured. He was actually captured in 2018. So she didn't get to like have her moment. Like she was really like, investigating the case while writing this book and a lot of her ideas that she had are what contributed to uh, finding him and finally getting to bring him to justice because his reign of terror was like through the 70s and 80s and 90s and so um, he was free for like 40 years like the case went unsolved for a very, very long time and finally was solved and she had passed before she got to see that. So it's a real big bummer. But the book is so beautifully written. Um, if you've ever read Gone Girl or Sharp Images, or not Sharp, Sharp Images, Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn, she writes the introduction to the book. Um, she's a really great writer too. So just... If you're into that type of stuff, if you're into reading and books and true crime, definitely go read this if you haven't already. I really need to get going on this painting. I've not done like anything at all. And Vaughn needs to take these boxes out to the garage. I'm gonna chop his head off if he doesn't. I've got an Amazon haul coming. I'm still waiting for some of my stuff to get in. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys. I just got this hyper chiller, and what it does is basically like it makes your drink super cold, like instantly, like in one minute, without like diluting your drink with ice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an iced coffee with this, and let's let's try it out. I've, I have not tried the hyper chiller out yet, so let's try it. So this is the hyper chiller. It's been kicking it in my freezer. And I'm gonna leave it there while I brew the coffee. But this is it. It says makes iced coffee instantly. I got it on Amazon, I'll link it in the description down below. We're gonna try it out. It says rapidly chill hot coffee with and other beverages without dilution. So, we're gonna try it, let's make some coffee. I got this new coffee. I'm gonna put you guys in here. This new coffee, Coffee Cafe Bustello. It's like a Cuban coffee. I've always wanted to try it, so here we are. This coffee maker is so bulky. I love it, but it is a very, very bulky coffee maker. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this. All right, now let's pour some water in this bad boy. I wanna see, cause y'all know I'm always on the hunt for the best way to make a nice coffee. So I wanted, see, that should be good enough. I've seen the blast chiller or the hydro chiller before and I've always wanted to, I've wanted to try it for a while now and then I forgot about it. And then I was on TikTok the other day and somebody made her iced coffee that way and I was like, you know what? Time, time's up. Time is up. Time to get me a, hy a hydro chiller or whatever. Hyper chiller. I need it. I need, I need iced coffee in my life. Sue me, I need iced coffee. It's what I need during these trying times. I mean, look at all this coffee. I have like, I have Seattle's Best, I have the Instant Coffee, I have Sweetie Pies, I have tea back there, I've got like a breakfast blend. Then I've got the Cafe Bustello. Is it an addiction? Yeah, it is. Um, am I gonna do anything to change it? No, probably not. I'm just gonna keep, we're gonna keep it pushing. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with it. Okay, so. I'm going to try this dark chocolate peppermint creamer today. I haven't tried it yet. I still have Old Faithful. This is one of my favorite creamers of all time. It's just an almond milk creamer from Khalifa Farms with vanilla. Check out this fridge. 
This is my pride and joy when it's this organized. I even got rid of some of my condiments, which can be a difficult task for me. I'm like a hoarder of condiments. See, looks pretty well organized. I love it. I love it when my fridge is organized. My coffee is brewing. What else is I gonna do? I do want to make a bagel. Let's let's do that now. Let's we'll make, we'll make a bagel. We'll make a little bagel. Put that on broil. Y'all know I always use everything bagels. It's my favorite kind of bagel. I'm not really into sweet bagels. Like I'll eat sweet bagels, but I'm not really into it. I think I'm honestly kind of more of a savory person. For a long time, I didn't know. I was like, I don't know if I'm a savory person or a sweet person, but I think when I like really like go over like my likes and dislikes and like what I always reach for, I think I'm more of a savory person. Tonight I'm making pico de gallo, homemade fresh pico de gallo as a video. And then I'm also making crunch wrap supremes, yeah. So exciting. And my series is starting soon. I really need to make my pico de gallo today because my tomatoes are getting a little soft. And we don't want soft tomatoes. I swear, I'm literally a train wreck every day. A train wreck. But you guys still love me, right? You still love me, right? I hope so. I sure hope so. My coffee is done. I'm gonna keep an eye on my bagel. I'm gonna grab my hydro or hyper chiller. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it a hydro chiller. I'm gonna pour the liquid into here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a, I don't know. It's like a opening right in here. And I'm gonna pour it. I'm gonna pour my hot coffee in there. I'm gonna keep checking that bagel because I don't want it to burn. I'm just gonna pour my coffee. And it says to like swirl it. So hold on, I'm gonna swirl it. I just wanna check. Yep, I'm gonna grab my bagel out. Perfect timing. Okay. You're supposed to like kind of shake it, I guess. And it's supposed to make it super cold. We're gonna try it. Okay. I'm gonna try it without the creamer, real quick. I wanna see if it's really cold. It's literally cold. It tastes like it was in the fridge. I know I poured it on ice, but like it literally, it's, it's cold. Hold on. I am shook. Let's put the rest of this in there. Oh my goodness, guys. Did I just find the best and easiest way to make iced coffee? Holy cow. This is hot, hot coffee. 
and it's perfectly iced. Like, look, you would tell, you would be able to tell if it was still hot water or if it was still hot coffee because the ice would be like way more melted. Holy guacamole. What? That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, let's try our almond milk creamer, our dark chocolate and peppermint creamer too. Also, the Cuban coffee, this Cafe Bustelo is bomb. So that's cool. Add this in here. Oh shoot, that slaps. Oh my God. This, I was worried that this was gonna be too strong because it's dark chocolate and peppermint. Oh my God, this tastes so delicious. This tastes, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. This tastes so fucking good. This tastes so good. It doesn't make any sense, it tastes so good. You guys, I'm losing my mind. Might have already lost it. Oh my God, inject this into my veins right now. Oh, this is so good. I really could cry right now. I've just found the best way, the best and easiest way to make iced coffee with this hydro or hydro. Hyper chiller. This hyper chiller is the truth. Is Louise. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love you, hyper chiller. I love you. Thank you for your service. Ah! Okay, let me make this bagel real quick. Finished bagel. Everything bagel with cream cheese and tomato and dill on top. This is like one of my favorite most favorite breakfast. And then of course, I have my coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me using my hyper chiller. And also, like this can be a snack too, because technically it's too late for breakfast, but this is just a little snack um, before I make dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, get myself together. I'm gonna film a little something for you guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out my Hyper Chiller. If you're interested in getting one yourself, um, I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, I might do like a more in-depth tutorial video on the Hyper Chiller, but honestly, it's pretty simple if you get one or just watch videos on YouTube on how to use it. It's super simple. Um, but yeah, be sure to like this video, comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you are interested in getting a hyper chiller to make the best iced coffee in the world. And also be sure to follow my Twitter at mnman, my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. Say goodbye, Abel. Say goodbye, cute face. He's saying bye, even though it doesn't look like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.